it's time for another chat. Don't ask me what that was because I don't know, but as you read by the title of this video, to all my sable mains out there, I love you girly pops, but we need to make a better community. There's been a lot of hate towards sables, saying that they're either sweaty or they suck at the game, and I do have some explanations to this. It's because, you know, people who play sable love Dead by Daylight, and then people who play sable choose her because they're just starting Dead by Daylight and she's cute. So that's probably why you're getting a mix of different players. Also, so many different people play Sable, so obviously you're gonna get different Sables. But let me just say, I'm not like the other Sables. I'm a pick me Sable. Bet you didn't expect that, huh? Huh? But I think just as a Sable main, we need to just be nicer. I know me saying that isn't going to do anything, but we have a reputation to fix. <laughs> Because I don't want to be like them other ones. I want to be a nice, like, I want to be known as a nice survivor. Like, um... I don't know any nice survivors in this game. Michaela? That's sad. I think everyone out there has a reputation of being a sucky player. Especially Lori Strode. You know what you did, Lori. Anyways, obviously you shouldn't judge a character based off of that person's playstyle because honestly it's going to be hit or miss, you're gonna get a good player, you're gonna get a bad player. And I think the reason why people say Sable players are just so selfish is because there's so many of them. So obviously you're gonna get the bad mix of people in with, you know, the other ones. So I think when you see a specific character, um, since there's so many people playing that character, you're gonna get them in like every single match and you may not be getting the good ones and that's just how that works, unfortunately. So then you have a bias against that character, like Laurie Strode. Actually, nobody plays Laurie, but I've noticed the games that I have played against Laurie, they're always like selfish and I'm like, what are you doing, girly pop? Like, we could have all made it out. I still love Laurie though, she's amazing. But yeah, as a Sable main, we need to be better. I have thought of a Sable cult that we can all join. I just need you to sign here on the screen. I haven't even told you what you're signing yet. If you signed, you're an idiot. You just signed your life away. Just kidding. But I think that we should have a list of rules or obligations. One, we should always try to save another player if possible because What's surviving if we don't have your buddies to survive with you? That's my rule at least. Like if I can get out, but there's someone on a hook, I'm gonna go run for them because what's surviving without, without them, you know? That sounds so stupid. Plus it makes the game a little bit more challenging and a little bit more fun if you have to go save someone. To me, the game isn't about winning, it's just about having fun. And if things get challenging because I have to go save someone, I love that. I love killers that are really difficult to beat, but I still beat them. That's my favorite kind of game where it's like, like we don't know which way this game is gonna go, and then it goes my way. Even if we lose, I, if I was that close to making it, I'm still a happy camper. My least favorite games are the ones where one side dominates over the other for the whole game. So if we have an AFK killer, I'm like, well, this is boring. Or if we have a tunneling killer, I'm like, what the? F <laughs> Anyways, the second rule, we should always heal others before ourselves. Now, I haven't noticed a lot of this in the game, but I'm sure it's happened before. Heal others, then heal yourself. The third rule should be, if you have a Sable sister in your game, you guys gotta match. It's just an unwritten rule at this point, but now I'm writing that rule. I follow this rule religiously. If there is another Sable in my game, you best bet that I'm gonna be matching her because I have pretty much every single outfit except for the, I think the gothic Victorian one or whatever, the gothic fantasy, that one. That's the only outfit I don't have for her. Otherwise, I have all of them. So you always have to be there for your Sable sisters. Don't leave a Sable sister, okay? We are a group. We love each other. We are built together. We are the same person, literally and not really at the same time, however that works. But we need to build a better community for our Sable sisters. We are the only ones who don't hate each other in this world full of Dead by Daylight haters. I'm realizing how much of a stupid video this is, but in all seriousness, it is just a game and play however makes the game feel fun to you. 
Because at the end of the day, I don't think games are all about winning. And I know some people are very sweaty and try hard at games, which, whatever, push them into the corner, let them talk amongst themselves. But for all the people who play to have fun, which are what video games are really about, let's just, let's just have a lot of love for each other because we all love the same game. And although some of the people play like trash, we're here for one reason. Dead by Daylight is awesome.